Um, and I'm going to say, guys, Christian Long, Life Enhancement Consultant, giving you a big and beautiful shout-out on this Monday evening here in Denver, Colorado at 6 o'clock p.m. Mountain Time. We're jumping on for a daily dose of divine light, divine love, and divine power. And we're covering the power aspect for this evening. And I'm actually pulling from a book. I'm pulling from a book that I have not pulled from before on these daily doses. And this one is called Beyond the Mind. Beyond the Mind by Grandmaster Cho Kuksui's Golden Lotus Sutra Books. This is a really, really good book. Um, it's connected to meditation, connected to your spiritual practices. So we're talking about willpower. We're talking about power, the will aspect of the soul, right? So I thought this would be a really good topic that will give you um, a thought process that you might not have gotten before connected to will. Fasting develops your willpower. The purpose of fasting is to cleanse the body and transform the solar plexus chakra. The objective is to become more refined and to have more control over the emotions so that the lower chakras will be regulated by the higher chakras. So, simply put, when we eat and the food goes down, as you've heard many, many times, I'm sure, that digestion starts in the mouth, right, with the enzymes and the saliva. And then as it passes through the trachea and it goes into the belly, what, what chakra is connected to the small and large intestines and to the diaphragm, the navel chakra and the solar plexus chakra? The solar plexus chakra deals with the lower positive emotions and the lower negative emotions. So when you are angry, frustrated, irritated, stressed out or worried, the solar plexus is negatively affected. When you're full of ambition, drive, perseverance, the, the will to succeed, the solar plexus is positively affected. So when you, Paula, I'm not mistaken, when you practice fasting, it's the higher will, the ajna will, and the spiritual will taking control over the physical body and saying, hey, physical body, even though you're hungry right now, we're going to wait to feed you. And what you're doing is you're practicing will. You be having a namaste. Does that make sense? You're practicing willpower. Because let's say your body wants to eat all the time. How many of us have bodies that are constantly hungry? You want a snack throughout the day. You want to eat chips and pretzels and popcorn and cookies and ding-dongs and ho-hos and cupcakes and brownies and ice cream. Getting all worked up over here, right? If you just did that unconsciously, whenever the impulse of the physical body said, hey, let's snack. Let's eat this cookie. Let's eat this brownie. Let's have another Sunday. That is you letting go. That is the higher will letting go. And the lower nature, the lower tendencies of the lower chakras are kicking in. It's like a little kid, right? If the little kid says, I want to have ice cream for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, that's not going to be good for the little kid. But the little kid, in their lack of understanding, will do those things. So as the parent, you have to come in and say, okay, after we do all of our fruits and vegetables and we have a healthy, productive day, we can have a little sweet thing in the evening before bed, right? That's an example. The, the parent represents the higher soul and the children represent the lower chakras or the lower nature. So I'll read the quote to you again. It's very, very important. It's very good, actually. Fasting develops your willpower. The purpose of fasting is to cleanse the body and transform the solar plexus chakra. When you transform something, it means you connect it, the thing you're transforming it, to the higher self, to the higher soul. The objective is to become more refined, which means going from dense vibrational energies, slower vibrational energies, coarser vibrational energies, to more subtle, more refined, um, more potent energies. And to have more control over the emotions so the lower chakras will be regulated by the higher chakras. Who doesn't want to have more control over their lower nature, over their lower tendencies? So fasting is a fantastic way to develop the inner strength and inner power within you. Care not, but namaste. So as you fast, the higher soul is saying, we'll eat later. 
instead of the lower nature saying, we need to eat now. If we don't eat now, we're going to die, right? That's your physical body acting up. It's your emotional body acting up. Yana, I'm gonna stay. But by fasting, you do 12 hour fasting, 14 hour fasting, 16 hour fasting, that's called intermittent fasting. Or you can do fasting for an entire day. It's actually recommended to take one day out of the week to not eat, just drink water. And as you're choosing not to eat for an entire 24 hour period and drinking only water, you are developing a stronger connection. Fernando, I'm gonna say, you're developing a stronger connection to your higher soul. Does that make sense? So your higher soul is taking control over the lower vehicles. Ah, Karen loves fasting. Very good. You'd have to let me know your recipe. What do you mean recipe? It's fasting, you're not eating. Protocol, whatever you wanna call it. So again, we're reading from Beyond the Mind by Grandmaster Cho Koksui. And again, I'll read the quote for the people that came in late. Fasting develops your willpower. The purpose of fasting is to cleanse the body and transform the solar plexus chakra. The objective is to become more refined and to have more control over the emotions so that the lower chakras will be regulated by the higher chakras. Meaning when you have the parent running the show, life is better long term. I'll say that one more time. When you have the parent running the show, you have more success long term. If you have children running the show, you have short term pleasure and long term pain. <laughs> yes or no? Right? Think about children running a household, running the mortgage, running the utilities, running the bills, running the grocery shopping, running the cleaning, right? Um, running the yard work. Imagine a child running a household. Would you have chaos or would you have order? You'd have complete chaos, right? So the parent is the higher soul, the children are the chakras. We have to keep connecting to the will aspect of our higher selves to control the lower vehicles. Zori, namaste. Oh, you have good recipes for juice fasting. Fast, juice fasting is one form of fasting, yes. A better fasting is either just water for 24 hours or nothing for 24 hours. Um, I had a friend in Pranic Healing who did a 40 Ramiro, I'm gonna say, who did a 40 day fast. He just had water because he wanted to mimic or copy Lord Christ 40 days, 40 days, 40 nights fasting, right? And he wanted to see what that experience was like. And he's a very, very experienced practitioner with a lot of willpower. So it would make sense. He had the will to do not just a day, not just a week, not just two weeks, but for 40 days. And that will shows up in every area of his life, from his physical exercise routine, to his corporate job, to his real estate investing, to his relationship with his wife and kids. Willpower, 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 willpower. He's able to make many good things happen for himself and for other people. I like to do water only on the weekend. Oh, no kidding. Just water on the weekend. Get it, girl. So that develops the will aspect, and it cleanses the solar plexus. It also calms and allows the um, small and large intestines and the digestive system to renew itself because it's not getting forced to process food, process food, process food. So it can spend time processing toxins out of the system, including the liver. So by the way, my experience about liver, liver cleanses is that they don't work. And you're not actually cleansing out um, gallbladder stones within the gallbladder, you're actually, it's just because you're using an oil, it's just a uh, solidified oil, not the actual stones. That's my understanding. I have certain friends of mine that swear by liver and gallbladder detoxification. As I dug deeper into the research, it seems to be mostly hype. So for the sake of this talk, connecting it to willpower and connecting it to fasting, either spend one day of no food and only water or one day of no food, no water. Obviously, check with your general physician. You may have special needs that are required, but for the general pra practitioner, for the general person, it's perfectly okay to have one day of fasting. It will not kill you, but it's a great exercise in willpower. 
Because your body's like, I want to eat. I want to eat. I want to eat. And you as the higher soul, you as the parent say, ah, we will eat tomorrow. You're fine. And this is a great opportunity to control your physical body, to, co to control your emotional body, and to control your mental body, right? Because you're controlling your physical body not to eat. You're controlling your emotions to calm down. Your emotions are getting agitated. They're getting stressed out. They're not getting the typical soothing mechanisms that they do through food. And then you're controlling your thoughts by rather than focusing on how hungry you are and focusing on all the emotional pain you're going through, you say, what's something I can be grateful for? What's something that I can think about that's positively? What's something that I can work on right now to create creativity and to add value into the world? Right? So it's a beautiful opportunity. So I hope that helps. Lots of light, love, and power to you guys. Thank you for joining another daily dose of divine light, love, and power with our focus on the power aspect for today. And then catch us tomorrow at 8 o'clock a.m. Mountain Time for another daily dose. And then the Twin Hearts Meditation at 8.30 a.m. Mountain Time. So I look forward to serving you now and forever. This is Christian Long, Life Enhancement Consultant, wishing you a beautiful day, a beautiful week, and a beautiful life. Atma Namaste. Bye. Oh, wait. Oh, I was going to do a bye-bye. Hold on. Does it matter how much water you drink on the fasting day? No. The more water you drink, the more hydrated you will be, and the better your system will be at detoxifying itself for the day. So you could drink as much water as you need to. I hope that helps. Atma namaste. Bye-bye.